Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to add, config, and test the digital output module SM3221 AA0. And I will use software Semantic Manager version 5.6 to make the configuration for add the module to the CPU. And here is the digital output module. And here is the uh, serial number or module number. Yes. Before go to make the configuration via software semantic manager, I would like to explain a little bit about how to wiring the drawing of uh, this module. Okay. So let's go. So here is the digital output module that I already uh, draft the drawing for easy to understand actually on the module yes go to the slide yes on the module it already uh, stick the drawing yes for uh, easy to understand but I just uh, explain more and draft to uh, this drawing okay so totally we have 20 uh, terminals yes the same as uh, digital input also and for terminal number one we can uh, supply AC or DC yes example if we uh, can uh, use the this uh, command AC or DC to uh, control the relay we can uh, connect for the AC to DC okay and for terminal number 10 we can connect 24 voltage minus or 0 volt DC to supply the module and for uh, terminal 20 we can uh, supply uh, 24 voltage plus to the module okay so terminal number 10 and terminal number 20 is 24 voltage yes and for terminal number 1 and number 11 we can uh, use AC or DC to uh, match with our plan yes example we can control the relay or contactor with AC we can uh, connect AC and if we would like to uh, control the relay or some electrical devices with DC we can use uh, DC to uh, connect the terminal number 1 or, or terminal number 11 Okay. So here is just uh, example. Example of Q0.0. We can uh, connect from terminal number two to uh, quite of relay. Number three to quite of relay also, and uh, terminal number four to quite the relay also. Okay. Example relay uh, quite relay is used. 24 voltage we can supply this one for DC and example relay use 220 volt AC we can supply 220 volt AC to terminal number 1 and number 11 okay so totally we have uh, 16 bits also so we can uh, use for uh, relay number 1 until relay number 16 yes 
Okay, so uh, here just drop the drawing for easy to understand. So uh, to config the program or add the hardware configuration with the software, let's go to our software. Yes. So first, open Cinematic Manager. Yes, version 5.6 or other version that uh, we use. So I will use the existing project that we already learned in the previous video. So let's go to hardware and double click to hardware. So in the previous video, we already learned how to add analog input, analog output and digital input. So right now we will add the digital output module for this CPU also. So before I add, let's remember the uh, serial number or module number. So three three two one double eight zero one, right? So let's go to uh, Cinematic three hundred, and let's go to SM three hundred, and let's go to uh, AO. Sorry, uh, DO. So, uh, three two two one double eight, right? So let's go scroll to find it. So this one, let's see here is the model number or serial number. So uh, we can drag and drop this module to the rack, yes. And the address will start from uh, Q twelve point zero until. 13.7 okay totally uh, 16 bits also yes so we will uh, save the project and then uh, we will download to the cpu yes before download make sure we uh, check our computer yes make the manual mode for uh, ip address yes with uh, 192.168.0. something, but not uh, one, because uh, the dot one is the address of PLC. Okay, and we can ping. We after we connect the LAN cable from our computer to the part of the CPU, so we can use command ping. 192.168.0.1 yes if it reply like this it means that we uh, can communication between our PC to the PLC so we can uh, download by push this button yes and then uh, OK and uh, wait a moment for uh, our PC will detach Yes, automatically detach with the CPU that we already connected the LAN cable from our PC to the PLC. So uh, wait a moment for this uh, connection. Yes. Actually, we can wait around ten or twelve seconds. Yes. So uh, right now, it found uh, one CPU. 314C 2PN slash DP S Ven uh, 300. Yes. So we can click uh, view to view the node. Yes. Okay. And then we can click OK. Yes. And if I push uh, button OK, it will uh, stop the CPU. Yes. I will show. So uh, let's see right now the CPU is start running. Yes. And if I push OK, it will stop. And then click uh, OK, yes again. It will start. Yes. Okay. So right now the CPU is starting. So and we can uh, test with the digital output. Yes. 
but remember it will start from 12.0 and earn 13.7 okay so to test with the digital output let's go to PLC and then go to the monitor modify variables this and it will start from Q 12.0 right Q 12.1 until Q uh, 13.7 right okay and I will zoom a little bit yes zoom in a little bit and then uh, we can uh, monitor yes by push this button and then we can uh, force the signal also by if I push this one one yes I will show yes and then I will uh, push this one Let's see, the output is turned on and uh, the wall of uh, multimeter is show also. Yes. If I would like to push this one, yeah, for this one, I can drive one and then I push, yes. This one also, yes. One. Yes. It turned on, right? It the earn of the. Uh, bit number 16 yes turn on okay so if we would like to uh, remove force we can uh, zero and then we can push this one this one also zero yes zero also okay so uh, it will turn off okay so we can also uh, write a program for test yes yes so let's go to ob1 existing program so we can uh, add uh, one more network for test example i will use the existing button yes start and stop yes and i will uh, control the output yeah example uh, two output yes like this and I will hold the signal also yes example I will start from Q 12.0 and uh, one more for Q 13.7 yes like this and I will hold signal by uh, this one yes okay so we can write uh, some comment example uh, this one uh, digital output bit 0 yes And this one we can also uh, comment dg tall output bit 16 yes okay so uh, we can save and then download to the cpu and then we can uh, monitor yes Okay. So uh, if I push I 8.0, I 8.1, yes, it will uh, let the Q 12.0 and uh, 13.7 is turn on also. Okay. So uh, let test, and this one is uh, turned on and off also the existing program. Yes. So let me show. Yes. So if I push button start, let's see, the point is turned on. Yes. 
first off. Start again, yes. Stop again, yes. Start again, yes. The existing point is uh, turn on also, yes. So uh, this is just example how to add config and test the digital output module of PLC S Event 300. Okay. So I hope this video is useful for everyone. And if everyone have any question, please kindly drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that i will create step by step and i'm also sorry if i have mistake in this video because my english is not so good and in this time i would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye